I'm Cody, and this is May Goes West. Purple ski loops on this sled. Claris bumper, I don't even know if they sell that one anymore. Not very heavy duty. I lost the cap, like it's first ride. Dealer couldn't seem to find me a new one. Haven't had a cap, there's probably some really gross water down in there. <laughs> <laughs> Trencher's front air kit. Replacement rod ends, we like to break shit. The replacement rod ends are beefier than the original Trencher's. Takes about 45 minutes in a garage. Then you gotta realign the skis. Yeah, so we have spares of these. Gotta have your spare rod ends if you're running a trencher's kit. Gotta have spare A-arms if you're running a Polaris kit. Cause uh, if you break a Polaris A-arm, you kind of hose. Typically the rod end will break before the A-arm. TK brake lever, love it, love the fit. It makes riding with a finger on the brake a lot easier. Luggage, under seat bag, running the tunnel bag. Pop the hood off. So we got the ZRP lightweight clutch cover. This clutch cover I've got probably has 2,500 miles on it now. It's been, it's been a warrior. It survived, I think, two primary springs breaking on me. I run the Polaris stock weights, but I do run a 12310 primary spring in my primary. My secondary, Indie Specialties Mountain One Helix. Quicker back shifting with the, the Helix from Indie Specialties. I did go back and forth between the stock Helix and the Indie Specialties Helix. Sled pulls a lot harder, gets the track speed up a lot quicker, and it back shifts a lot faster too. I'm just yip yapping, dude. MBRP can, the golden can. 2,800 miles on the sled with the MBRP can. This is the quieter version. What you're looking at right here is a brand new Polaris factory motor. Uh, the motor went out on me last year. Luckily I had the four year Polaris warranty, no problems. Dealer installed. The uh, drive shaft and jack shaft bearings were both replaced over this last summer because this sled's got 3,600 miles on it and those bearings are kind of known to go out right around there. What else do we got? What else did we do to this? Place? These are the Chaos Ice Age rails. I gotta tell you guys about the Assault Chaos mod. I owned an Assault. I called Ice Age up. They said, yeah, the profile's the exact same. So I'm running the Chaos rails in this skid. Right here, this is the hole that they had put in the chassis for the Assault setup. And the Assault setup was to kind of lift get the sled to lift more on the front end. I bought my 850, this was 19, so this was before the chaos. I drilled out the hole for the lower mounting and I ordered the assault rails for the sled. We moved the bolt from where it's mounted now down into that lower hole. The assault hole slash the uh, poor man's chaos mod. So all you have to do is drop that down. Don't have to mess with the limiter strap or anything. Um, you do want to get the right profile rails because if you don't have the right profile rails, you might have your track stabbed through on the rail tips. The rear suspension swing arms are just beat to piss. So the rear swing arms got fresh coat of paint on them. Fresh coat of paint on everything. Went with the purple to match the wrap. Shocks were rebuilt. My shock shop out in Big Lake, Minnesota. Good price, good guy. He's always on my shocks and your shocks, John. Yeah, he did mine on uh, my Articat M9000 when I owned it. One more thing, Cody would never tow me with this stock rear bumper. He was so scared this carbon fiber piece of shit is gonna break. <laughs>